This is music, and this is my response to the Rock Scouts 2022 medal tag. <laughs> The Rock Scout has launched uh, the 2022 uh, 20 question metal tag. He did one in 2021 as well. 20 questions for us to answer. Let's just get down to business. The first question is, what's your favorite reissue of 2021? 2021 was actually a pretty good year for reissues, I think. A lot of good stuff uh, came out again. And I managed to pick up... Um, some pretty good reissues i'm going to show you multiple reissues because they kind of go together they're not like a box set but for me they go together and that's the death reissues from 2021 so scream bloody gore leprosy the pink one um the baby blue one Spiritual Healing, Human, this is when my favorite era of death begins, the more progressive one, Individual Thought Patterns, and uh, The Sound of Perseverance, and the reason why I didn't show you Symbolic is that, to my knowledge, it hasn't been reissued, sadly, because that's my favorite death album. So that was question one. Question two, what band did you discover in 2021? I discovered a whole lot of bands in 2021, but one that is kind of like outstanding because that's a band I discovered due to the VC, that's Hell Ripper. And that's basically because I saw a bunch of videos with people having Hell Ripper t-shirts on and especially because of Mark G with the C's uh, great uh, British thrash metal series, which you should see and check out if you haven't already done that. He featured or mentioned Hell Ripper. Okay, so uh, question three, um, show an album that features an outstanding vocal performance. Um, again, I could show a lot of albums, but I'm going to show you one that I've shown a million times now. It's not even an album. It's a, an extended EP. But it's kind of, so it has full length. Uh, Nemophilos Oiran. Um, their singer, who is this lady right here, has an absolutely amazing voice, in my opinion. She is just a perfect fit for this the brand of metal uh, she can do kind of like harsh screechy vocals she can do crooning she can do old school rock building she can do kind of like softy ballad singing uh, and there's just something about her voice quality especially when she does the uh, rock belting so that's my used performance on uh, oiran extended edition so that was question three. Question four is uh, show a gap filler album in your collection. Now, I am not really a, a completionist, but I am a selective completionist. So there are some bands where I would like to have all their studio albums on vinyl. One of them is Iron Maiden. That's my favorite band. And so I got to say that Virtual Eleven is a gap filler. It's the only Iron Maiden album that... I don't really like. I do like uh, two songs on it, uh, Future Real and um, The Clansman. The rest don't really do it for me. I don't even like the cover artwork. Um, uh, but I will say this, Blaze Bailey has nothing to do with it. Uh, I like Blaze Bailey. I actually th love his voice. I think on, on The X Factor, Blaze Bailey's uh, vocal performance is the highlight for me. 
he did a great job with Wolfsbane Spain before he joined Maiden, and after he joined Maiden, his uh, left Maiden, his solo output has been just consistently uh, amazing. So I'm a fan of Blaze Bailey, but just this entire album just doesn't work for me, to be honest. Um, so it's not bashing Blaze Bailey; it's it's the the whole thing. So that's that's a gap filler in uh, my vinyl collection so question five is uh show us a cheap pickup from 2021 now i i didn't fully understand this question whether it's just something i picked up in 2021 or whether it was a 2021 release that was cheap but i i i construe it as something i just picked up cheap in 2021 and that's this one here Steel Infernos and the Earth Stood Still. That's the cheapest thing I picked up in 2021 because it was a freebie. I didn't pay anything for it. So uh, so there you go. That's my answer to question five. Right, question six. Favorite artwork from a new release? Um, n well, not this. Uh, I actually kind of like it. I know it's... it's, it's very similar to the style from uh, from uh, the Book of Souls, but I kind of like this. But that's not it, and it's not the uh, the back cover artwork either. It's the gatefold, and I don't know if this counts, but I'm gonna show it anyways because this is this the gatefold here, absolutely amazing. This is the gold nugget this is absolutely fantastic uh artwork so i hope this counts because that's what i picked on to question seven uh what is a favorite track from uh 2021 um it's well actually two tracks from this one here um taking my chances and scars it's kind of like a toss-up between those both are well taking my chances is more like a, a hard rock song and scars is more like a somewhere between hard rock and blues rock i would say they're both absolutely brilliant tracks i pr in particular really like adrian smith's performance on those two songs and this entire album question eight a song that what is a song that became uh an earworm and this can be from any year from this album it's Tigers of the Sea. And that, that's been an earworm for most of my life, to be honest. I really dig this song. And it, you know, it just pops up in, in my head, you know, pretty much every day at some point uh, without any rhyme or reason. So certainly Tigers of the Sea. So that was question eight. So question nine is, uh, what are two albums that are destined to become cult from your collection this year in 2022 the answer is none i have no plans of getting rid of any albums in my collection this year so the answer is none question 10 uh, what is a band that i have gone off um, so this could be a, a band i used to like and i just i'm not just into them right now maybe i'll get into them again the answer is easy, and it'll probably make me very unpopular, but that's Man of War. I guess uh, I'm a wimp and a poser. Too bad. On to question 11. Um, so that's, would you recommend, I guess, which 1990s metal album would you recommend? I'm going to recommend two. I would probably recommend a whole bunch more, but I'm going to recommend two here. The first one is from 93 or 92. I don't remember, but Obituaries to the End Complete, a great death metal album from the heyday of death metal. Um, the title track is absolutely awesome. And the other album I'm going to recommend, completely different, I think that's also around 92, 93, Pile of Skulls by Running Wild. Uh, just uh, traditional metal, but with still with... with uh, Lots of hints of power metal, uh, great melodies, um, great songs. There's an epic song on here as well. Uh, just 
an all-out great album. So those would be two uh, 90s albums that I would certainly uh, recommend. So question 12 is show or name a single that sold an album to me. This is, I can't show you a single because I, I mean, I do have some singles, but I don't really collect singles. And the ones I have are not singles that really sold an album to me. The closest thing I can get is a song I've mentioned. I don't think it's out on a sing single as such in physical format, but I think it was out as a digital single. And that would be Scars. Uh, from the Smith and Cutson album. On to question 13. Name uh, an epic song of eight minutes or more. Uh, Dream Theater, A Change of Seasons. It's around 23 minutes. Um, a, a great progressive metal epic song. So there you go. Question 14. Uh, what is your opinion on Record Store Day? I don't do Record Store Day. I don't care about Record Store Day. Um, so, uh, it's too stressful. I don't want to stand in line, uh, to be able to maybe pick something up that I probably don't even need, uh, probably don't even want. So I'm fine with people doing record store day. I don't do record store day. I don't care about record store day. That's my opinion. Question 15 is what part of my music setup, uh, did I change in 2021? Uh, I changed kind of like small parts. Uh, I bought a tape cassette player. Uh, I actually bought two. Um, I bought a uh, portable CD player to have in my kitchen so I can listen to music uh, in, in uh, the kitchen uh, when I'm there doing stuff uh, on my own. Um, I bought, I guess this counts as part of my music setup. I bought, I bought uh, two sets of uh, earbuds so kind of like small things question 16 uh, what was the biggest musical disappointment of 2021 oh man i don't really have any musical disappointment as such because i didn't really do much to to uh, pick up new albums from 2021 i managed to pick up throughout the year four uh albums no four releases uh two of them weren't even albums and then towards the end in in um, december just around christmas time i've managed to pick up a good handful of 2021 releases but i haven't been disappointed with any release as such but maybe the um the lack of of live concerts has been disappointing but i fully understand why um so so i'm not really disappointed with that either because it was for the greater good of everyone's health right um so maybe if there is anything I was, i'm disappointed with maybe all the vinyl delays because of the whole situation that's the best thing i can do question 17 uh, what is an album that I'm looking forward to in 2022? Uh, the Enchantment album, because uh, I think they it's scheduled for 2022, right? If, if that's the case, that's the album I'm looking forward to. And I'm going to pick it up as soon as I can. Question 18. Who would I like to see release a solo album? I don't know. I don't really... I mean, I get the why people would do solo albums albums to do something different to do something different from the bands they're in um so that means technically you know anyone who wants to do something different go ahead and do a solo album i might not like it i might like it the penultimate question um show us a placeholder album uh that you would rebuy in better condition i haven't really thought about placeholder albums uh maybe i have but probably this one pretty mates red hot and heavy uh i bought this issue or version very cheap uh the the uh the jacket has some bends some ring wear some some i don't think 
I don't think there are any seam splits or anything, incredibly enough, but it has some, some bends and some ring wear. And the disc itself has some scratches. There's some needle skips. Um, but uh, it's a pretty good album, I think. So if, if I ever see a better copy of it, I might pick it up, but it, it would not be to have a better looking jacket. It would have be to have maybe uh, a disc with fewer scratches in it. I don't feel, I don't feel bad about having this uh, low quality version because I didn't pay a whole lot for it. On to the last question. What album have you yet to pick up? Um, and I couldn't figure out whether this had to be an album from 2021 or just any album. I have a lot of albums from 2021 even to pick up. Um, Persona Non Grata for sure by Exodus. KK's Priest, uh, that album. I've been very on the fence just because it's kind of dumb, but because Priest is in the name. I think it's, it seems a bit like, I don't know, like a, a thing a bitter person would do. Um, but I'm probably going to pick it up. Um, was it the Cryptosis? I haven't picked that one up either. Um, so certainly a whole bunch of albums from 2021. Um, if it's just like overall, I still haven't picked up the vinyl versions of, of, um, the Book of Souls and Power Slave. But I don't know if it counts because they're pre-ordered and, and they should arrive at some point. Um, so so uh, I, there's just too many albums to give a satisfactory answer to the last question. But but certainly Exodus is Persona Non Grata. So this was my contribution to uh, the Rock Scouts 2022 metal tag. Um, I think everyone should join in and, and have fun. And also... Uh, I think people should also join in on the Female Metal Fans 2022 tag, which is more like a show and tell tag. So they're actually kind of different. I don't even think that these two tags are, are in any sort of competition and they're both fun. So, uh, but as I said, that was my contribution. Thanks for watching.